Hello, it's Red Knight here, and welcome back to one of my cool farm, cool design videos. Now, I do love visiting people's farms. I do love having imagery shared with me, especially by you guys out there. So I'm going to be sharing some of the designs that have been sent to me or that I've actually seen. For example, this beautiful little animal here. Now, all of these images for the first part are focusing on animals of the world. You've got cats here. You've got some nice goats. You've got butterflies flies and even a beautiful horse amongst this first selection. Now when you're looking at these designs I'd like you to think about it. Do you have the space? Would you like to create something like this on your farm and would you like to share it with the world? If so you know all you need to do is to take a screenshot and send it to me and then I will share it with everybody. I often post these images on Facebook. I often share them on Instagram as well and I even add them to my videos and I love your work. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be sharing it. Just look at some of these designs here. That is fantastic. I love that. This is one of my favorite ones. I do like this goat and this is the one that's really hot at the moment. A beautiful horse. Now it's not just the animals I like, it's also the buildings as well. And I think that the amount of time and energy that's gone into creating these buildings. Okay, I got you, you guys are wonderful, as I've said many times, and I do like it. Now, I do try some of these designs myself, but I am limited with fun sometimes, so I can't actually make every design I'm looking at. Now, space is also an issue when it comes to these building designs. Now, I've had some players say to me, can I can I do this? Is it a good idea? And then when I ask them what level they are, they say, well, I'm a level 23. My advice is no. If you are of a lower level and you want to create a spectacular design, then you're not going to be able to do that. One, it's down to funds. Creating these building designs will cost you a lot of money, especially if you are looking to add more than one of each item, because the coinage does go up as you're building them. Now, there is nothing to stop you from creating part of the design. You can just say have something very, very simple. And it doesn't have to be building related. It could be animal related as well. But mix them in together. Make it so that you're using the resources you get in the game and create something that's very artistic. But do spread them around and then do think to yourself, do I like this? If it looks ugly, then rip it down and start it again. Now, once you've done these beautiful designs, send them to me and I promise I will share them with the world because I love everybody's work. Now, let's have a look at some farm imagery because it's not just the buildings and it's not just the animals. It's also about laying out your farmland. It's also about using the ditches and the decorations. It's also about using the trees to create something artistic and interesting. Now, it doesn't have to be too much, and it can be very spacious, you can have a lot of open land still, but it all depends on how you want to lay them out. Using the mixture of the path pieces to create something wonderful. Using diagonals, so you end up with a more like a 3D or staggered imagery using the same kind of decoration more than once just to blend things in together can give you some really nice designs. Even two bridges together like you've just seen there can create something that's very harmonistic and wonderful to look at. Now I love everything here that I'm looking at and I do wish that I had a large amount of land where I could create all of these designs together. And maybe one day we could actually build up a collage or maybe Supercell could create this. Maybe someone within the Heyday team could create an empty green field that we could build all of these designs into that imagery and then set up something massive and wonderful that can be then shared with the world. Imagine if you could see one imagery that you could then zoom into and it would show part of someone's farm or design. You zoom out, you go to another area and then you can see something else. Oh my god, the, a collage like that of all these designs would be 
awesome to see. And I we really do wish that we could get this one day. Now, until that actually happens, I'm going to keep making videos like this, and I'm going to keep sharing these designs with you. Now, if you are looking for these decorations and you want to design something, all you need to do is to open up your Heyday account. Now, like I said, you are going to need a lot of coins sometimes, so if you're a lower level, don't worry too much about the big decoration, but you can still purchase trees. So, example, if you come down to the fourth tab within the shop, you can purchase trees and bushes, and then mix and match those together to create a wonderful design that's very artistic and pleasing. Now, it could be a box-like effect. It could also be a mixture of trees and hedgerows together to give a very wild design. For example, if you want to see something a little wild, go and have a look at my farm. You can actually see down at the far end where I've left some of the trees from within the game itself and not chopped those down. And then I've mixed in the trees in different locations with some rocks as well. And it's created a really beautiful design. Even just adding in a few pieces of the water ditches, it gives you this nice meandering feel around the trees as though there's like a small river moving down. Now you can also use the land pieces. Now throughout the game you're going to get more land added and then you can start creating wonderful designs just like you've been seeing here where the land is moved around just to create a wonderful pattern. Now, for myself as an example, I tend to keep my land in two blocks, but not everybody does that. They sometimes spread them out and they move them around. Now, if you are going to use the land as well, do remember that you've got your animal pens, you've got your pastures, you've got your houses, you've got the stables. Blend those in with your design as well, because everything is about design and layout and harmony. You want to create something that's not too cluttered. Okay, you don't have to open up all of the land pieces, but you don't want to overburden your farm. Now, when it comes to the actual machines, the same kind of thing. When you're blending the machines together, you can create some really nice designs. You don't have to lump them all in the one location. You can spread them out. And just putting a machine under a tree is actually quite cool. Putting some trees by bushes, again, is very, very good. But it will depend on your taste at the end of the day. Now, if you come down to the fourth, last tab, the fifth tab, this is where you can actually find your shop for the decoration. And if you scroll through the actual slide option at the top, you can see the different settings or the headings for each of those decorations. And you can see which ones will cost you vouchers, which ones will cost you diamonds, which ones will cost you coins. Now, when you're actually looking at these, okay, it's a good idea to plan what you want to do carefully, but because it can cost you a lot of resources. Now, before I actually start looking at some actual videos that I've made of different farms and give you the more animated effect, I'm going to show you some imagery that's very emotional and very important. It was created by my friend Laura to remember Veterans Day and Remembrance Day. Now, we that are around now owe so much to those that have come before us. If it weren't for their sacrifice, if it weren't for the fact that they stood up and fought for what they believed in, many of us would not be alive now. Now, I feel very privileged that members of my family in the past have actually fought and some of those have died, some of those have come home. Now, I do wish at the end of the day that everybody could come home to their loved ones, but it's not to be. Now, when it comes to remembering people, it, when it comes to remembering those that were in the past, I think it's important that we never forget. And to create some imagery like I'm looking at here is a really good way of touching my feelings and feelings of others. Now, I'm actually quite emotional looking at these images, and I do think they're quite wonderful. 
Now, I'm going to leave you with your own thoughts here and basically stop talking as I think about this. When I do start talking again, it will be when I'm actually reviewing the video and the recording I made earlier. Now here we are at a level 82 farm and I'm going to show you both the farm and the town because I like what this gamer has done with the design. It's very very open, it's the kind of place that I want to go to and relax with my family. So should I ever be in the countryside and I come across this farm, I'm going to spend many hours here enjoying myself. In fact, if they do B&B, I might even stay here for a long weekend because it will allow my kids the opportunity to run around in the countryside and have some fresh air, which they don't really get in the cities. OK, now let's zoom out and show you why I like it so much. Now straight away as we zoom out, you can see lots of interesting designs here. And it's not cluttered at all. Look at that open area between everything. Look at that space. Look at how much land is not being used. And it's perfect. I like the fact that you've got the trees here to the rear as a nice border style. Just in front you've got this building here and it feels that you could actually go up this building and then once you're at the top of this building you can gaze across the whole of the farm. In fact you can gaze past the farm to the surrounding land and based on the design of this farm I could imagine the whole area is quite beautiful as well. I like the use of those tires at the bottom there. It, it really does go so well. Now just to the left hand side you'll see one of these horse decorations that you can get from the Derby. Now I'd love to win one of these because they are quite special. In fact if you have more than one of these on your farm and you have incorporated them into a design together let me know because I would love to see how people have done that because I do think they are fantastic. And I'm hoping that maybe at some stage in the future, like we got with the golden statues, we will get more like this, but with other farm animals. So could you imagine having the horse, a pig, a sheep, a goat, all very similar in design like this around your farm? I think that could be quite wonderful. And I would like to see that as well. Now the other side of this tower, you've got this interesting balance here with the single rose hedge and it's separating the pool area from the building and I think that's a good idea and I'm so glad that you haven't expanded it more either to the back or to the front there. Where it just sits there in the centre is really really good and it does offer you some privacy if you are there in the pool with your kids. Now I can imagine my kids jumping in that pool, swimming around, maybe I'll be in there myself while my wife is sitting on one of the deck chairs, uh, enjoying a magazine and all of us getting that fresh air. Now just to the back you've got the mine, okay, and as you come down from this area from the mine all the way around it's boxed in by that white fence with two entrance points. And that then guides us around to where the dock area is. Now I'm a big fan of the staggered walls and buildings and designs and I really think they look quite nice, especially when they do go, to where, go together well like this one here. Look at the way you're coming down from that dock, you're coming down those steps, you've got like this dirt splodge just as though someone's been walking or moving around in this area. Just to the left hand side of those steps you've got this beautiful water design with the statue with the rock piece there as well which really goes well together and I think that's quite a nice design concept there. In fact I've seen many people do these water designs and I do like them a lot. Now this one uses two ponds as well. You've also got the ditches that we got in the game. So again this really interesting blend together goes well. And the fact that they've actually joined them together to create a mini island with a single topri on it as well is nice. Now to the left hand side you've got your picnic area and then you've got your sandwich machine there as well. So if I were here I could sit down, have myself a nice little bacon butty or sausage sandwich or something like that and then just relax as well. 
Now that single machine there by the tree again is good. I'm so happy that there are not many machines in this area. It feels wonderful. Now, I do like going to visit farms here in Japan, specifically when it comes to picking, say, sweet potatoes from the ground. And my kids and I enjoy doing this every year. And if I can't do it, then my wife's there as well. And we often get lots of sweet potatoes. Now, one thing I do miss from the UK is actually berry picking. I used to love going with my mother, my father, my sister, picking the berries from the bushes and then eating them and then going home with big splodges of berry mark all over my face and fingers. So I think I probably ate more than I actually took home. But my mother would then make some really wonderful pies. So a nice rhubarb pie with berry, uh, a nice crumble, sometimes a nice uh, cheesecake made with these berries as well. Oh God, I miss my mother's cooking. Now here you've got this same kind of interesting design. You can come in through this archway, you can go down these bushes to the left or right hand side, and then you can harvest the bushes to your heart's content. Just remember you've got to pay for what you are picking and eating. Now if we come from this area where you've got the house, you've got this nice little, nice little path piece that comes straight down the centre and that continues all the way down to the rest of the farm and then branches off in another direction and then allows you to leave the farm area. So just behind those bushes you've again got a nice little water area with the ditch and I like that a lot. Again a nice simple placement for the machines with their own little tree or area so they're, they're separate but they're together and it blends in very well. It's almost as though the person has taken time and effort to think about how they want to lay this out. So I can feel that many hours of work has gone into this. Now from coming out of this pathway and you're going straight across the road into the area across the road, this is where they've put their animals. And you've got a nice little trodden path around the central water piece there with two stables, a donkey sty there as well, a well for water so you can actually water the animals. You've got your kittens and your puppies. You've got your rabbits here as well. Now I wonder where the actual dogs and cats are located. Now they seem to be in this area as well, which I could understand because you want to play with your kids. So we need to go and find out, but that does look good. The fact that you're using the trees and the wall as a border, I like that a lot as well. Now coming back across the road here, you've got the family graveyard. Now you can see here one grave has been dug, you've got the one headstone there as well, and it's you've got this kind of nice little sombre effect here, and it kind of makes me think, okay, like the family comes here to pay their respects to a loved one that they've lost. And then behind that, a nice balance of the different rows of trees. And I think if I were to be buried here, I would enjoy being buried in this location because it's quite pleasing to the eye. Even though as a deceased person, I wouldn't be able to see it. But in my ghostly form, uh, I could move in and out the trees. I would like that a lot. Now... I wondered where all the machines were going to be, and I found them. Look at them here, all located behind those trees. So you can see them, but you can't see them. It's almost like they're out of sight, out of mind. And I do like this effect. Now, I've seen lots of people who just completely hide them behind the trees. But I think this is much nicer. So one machine, one tree, as a divide between the different machines. So you can see them, and you can still access them and it, it does blend in very very well I like it a lot and it creates a nice little border effect as it comes down the side here and that's really really good just off from the machines again you can see a nice use of the water with the actual farming land I'm really pleased with what I'm looking at here even with the actual animal pens nicely balanced there it goes well together a mixture of the actor nectar bushes and the honey machine you've got the dairy as well now I've located where the dogs and cats are uh, I do like this a lot I really do uh, it's it's a wonderful design farm now I have high expectations here because the farm's so beautiful. I wonder what I'm going to see when I actually come to the town. So let's go and have a peek, shall we? So 
let's head on over and straight away we can see that the design has continued over into the town so let me zoom out so you can get a big idea here so again this concept of space with the white fences is being used here very very well and I must admit it goes nicely look at the town hall just situated at the back there trees benches you could come here do business then afterwards relax on those benches a nice mix of the path pieces and then no path pieces straight down so it, it does feel good I, I like it a lot not overly burdened very very simple and very picturesque now that's an interesting idea so the trees there with some hedgerows around them now I actually do like that it's interesting and unique in many many ways and I think that actually adds quite nicely to the town design okay let's go and have a look at the beach area and see if I'm going to be impressed here as well okay they've left some of the trees there a very open beach style again with buildings to the left hand right hand side and again this concept of openness is here and yes I, I like it a lot I really really do I, I think from the whole of this town the town hall design is probably my favorite part there I, I like that a lot if I come back to the farm uh, I think the bit that I like the most has to be this area here it, it's really really good the fact that it's all open and I can just bring my family here and enjoy it now for me if I were scoring this like one of my uh, farm review videos I would probably give this a five points uh, because I think it deserves it it's absolutely wonderful in fact I'm going to like it because I like it so much and there you go so you've had a total of one likes okay that's it for this video Now here I am at a level 29 farm by the name of Athar Kabar. Now the area I'm looking at here is an unexpanded area. So this person is going to need lots of land expansion materials. But the reason I wanted to show this is because I really do like this kind of scenery. And I think it looks really beautiful. I love the fact that it's now the wintry season within the game. And we get these wonderful trees where the leaves have changed color. And it's almost like this gray white design. And it's really spectacular. So just look at the attention to detail on those leaves. It looks really, really fantastic. And I love it a lot. I do, though, sometimes wish that I could actually have these trees as a decoration and then add them to my game itself I would love to see winter decoration like this added at some stage in the future if we look at some of these other trees here look at these ones here look at the attention to detail where the actual snow is sitting there on the leaves during this wintry effect it's fantastic the other thing I like about the winter season as well is the actual pools of water with the logs. They change as well. And you end up with this really nice mix here of water, trees, and walls with rocks together. Now, I wish I could have every item here as a form of decoration. I'd love to be able to build these rock walls like this, to be able to put these stones into place, to have these nice little pools and these trees like this for every season. It's, it's one of my favorite aspects of the game and I do wish that I could go back sometimes and then reincorporate some of this into my design. Now, when it comes to the pond water and some of the trees, you don't actually have to chop them down or to dig it up. You can leave it in your design. And when the seasons do change, well, they change with the game as well. So it does look quite spectacular. I just wish we could have the walls, though. That would be quite nice. Here I am at a level 67 farm by the name of Shimmy. Now I'm about to show you something that I really like and I thought when I first saw this that this was such a cool idea and I even think the animals like it as well. It's totally amazing. 
Right, now let's have a look at this in more detail. Now if we look at this image here, you can see Shimi has all of his animals in the one location. So he's got his donkey stable there, he's got his rabbit holes, he's got his cat houses and dog houses, he's got the stables for his horses, and he's also got the beds for the puppies and the kittens. And all of the animals are located here just in this walled off section. Now, the animals can actually leave this section if they wanted to. In fact, you've even got foxes in there as well, which is quite awesome. But what I really like about it is just towards the bottom of this. And if we come down, you'll actually see something that's quite interesting. So let's go and have a look. Now, what we have here is a really, really interesting maze-like effect. And it allows the animals to wander around and choose the direction they want to go and basically try to find their way out. And it's quite cool. I like it a lot. I like the fact that they come in from where the animals are located. They can then choose either to go left or right. And then they just wander around until they find the direction out of the actual maze. Now, as an example, watch these animals just over here. You've got yourself a cat and a dog. And it looks like the dog's actually sniffing the pathway, trying to find his exit. But will he do it, I wonder? Is there that secret exit that he can find? Let's just follow him and see. Okay, no, nope, there's nothing in this direction, so he's trotting on back. Have a quick sniff again. Looks like the cat's given up and just licked his paws. And here come the rest of the animals to help them find their way around. Now, it's actually interesting for this effect, and I do like it a lot. And I'm kind of glad that I found this, and because of this, I wanted to share it with you. So, I hope you all like it as well. This is a really amazing animal run, if I do say so. I like this a lot. Now here I'm at a level 54 farm by the name of Fazenda da Violetta. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Now the image I'm looking at here is a really, really nice mix of the machines, some buildings and rose bushes and path pieces. And this is why I wanted to share this with you, because I do like the design. And it's one of the things that I try to look for when I'm looking at the way people use a mix of bushes and ornaments and path pieces, especially with the machines. Now I actually think this is quite beautiful. It's not overly burdened with the decoration. There's a fantastic mix of the different rose bushes. So by the dairy you've got the yellow, by the barn and silo you have the orange, then you've got this wonderful path piece that actually threads its way through all of them. And then in the center by the smelters you have the pink roses. Then below that you've also got the white roses and that's actually quite nice. And I feel that if I were a person coming to this farm it would be quite pleasant and pleasing just to see this on my left hand side as I drive up the driveway. And if I'm just a visitor walking past, I could quite happily go and get a coffee from the kiosk there or some candy from the candy machine and again just relax there and enjoy the beautiful fresh air. This one's actually quite pleasing and I hope you like it as well. Now here I am at a level 61 farm by the name of Thrian. Now I do like this image I'm looking at here because it's very very simple and it's really really balanced well. And I'm so jealous. Just look at that beautiful horse decoration just sitting there. Now if you're lucky to have won one of these in the derby then I envy you because there are so many things you can do with this decoration. Just look at the way that this person's actually use the pink rose bushes, path pieces, a nice little swing seat and the gazebo there. It looks really really nice. And then with the addition of the trees, the hedgerows, the red rose bushes with a nice little path piece coming down from the dock to where the house is, it looks quite nice. And then if you look down here, you've also got the coffee kiosk as well. Now the coffee kiosk is balanced on either side with that beautiful little decoration, that flower with the ladybird on. And I think that that actually matches very, very nicely. Just look at the way you've also got those bushes running down the top and the bottom there for the different berries that you can pick. And then a mixture of both orange and pink rose bushes 
then coming further down towards the end it changes to red and white I love it it's very very simple it's very picturesque and it feels really really good even with this open space here I'm so glad it's open because I think to add something else there would detract from the actual image and I like this a lot especially because this person has that lucky horse there and I do wish that I had that one Now here I'm at a level 81 farm and town. Now what I'm going to show you here is the town because I really do like the imagery that I saw here. Now towns happen to be one of my favorite places within the game and I often spend a lot of time here and I love some of the designs that I see out there and I really do like what this person has done with their town. It's very very simplistic and it still uses the existing decoration that you get within the game once you've expanded the land. So let's have a look and zoom out. Now if we zoom out from the town hall, one of the first things you'll notice here is the pools of water, the rocks, the trees and the bushes and they've not been cut down. The actual person here has left them there and used it as part of the design and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Just look at the winter effect here, it really does look nice and I like it a lot. Now if we zoom out more and see what they've done, if we look over here in this corner you'll see where they've added the gift shop to this area and it balances very very nicely. Just to the left hand side of the gift shop you'll see some rose bushes again, you'll see some of the decoration within the game and it goes well and I'm so happy that they haven't put any more buildings in this area and I really do hope so in the future so that they don't do that. Now if we slide on over to the other side, let's see what they've done here. Okay, now they've removed quite a few of the tree decorations from this side. And I think that's okay, because this is where they've added the rest of their buildings. You've got your B&B &B up here, you've got your cinema, you've got your grocers and your diner, all over on this left hand side. Again, there are a few trees mixed in here, but it's open okay the land is open you've got decorations added nice path pieces here again a good use of rose bushes and some of the lamp posts situated in the right location and I like it a lot it looks really really beautiful and I'm really impressed with this one if we come down to the beach it's the same kind of effect okay even though you've got this beautiful wintry scenery they've left their beach mats with their deck chairs sitting there so maybe a little bit chilly for the odd tourist but then again if I were in England I'd probably be going down to the beach as well even in a wintry season because it's still beautiful and I like that it's simple it's artistic and it really does look nice so well done on this one I like it a lot now here I am at a level 76 farm and town and I've decided to look at La Hosikuda's town because I do like the imagery here and I think you will like it very much as well. Now straight away we've got a maxed out town hall here with some walls behind to the left and to the right with a nice little mix of decoration and topiary as well. Now if I zoom out slightly and then we walk straight down the center you'll see this nice little balance of two types of path pieces together and it really does go well. I love it a lot and I think it's actually a good aspect for the design for this town. If we slide down a little bit more, you'll notice to the left and right hand side a different style of topiary bush here as well. And it looks wonderful. Now I'm not always keen on having too much decoration, but I do feel that this blends in very, very nicely. And I like the way that they've used a mixture of the two different kinds to create different styles of imagery. And it's actually quite fantastic. Even with the single rosebush pieces just sitting there in different locations, it's all strategically balanced and it blends nicely. Now if we slide on down a little bit more, come down the pathway to the exit, it feels that I would like to walk into this town after getting off the station at the platform. It's a very very warm feeling even though it's a wintry season now and I must admit I would like to visit this place. And speaking of visitors, 
did you see these bicycles look over here on the left hand side you'll see you've got your pink and red bicycles so it makes you feel that other people are inclined to visit this town as well just like myself in fact what really impresses me is you've got a penny farthing there so it means that there is some gentleman walking around the town enjoying the sights partaking of the coffee and food at the restaurants and really enjoying the sights here and to actually ride a penny farthing into the town to do this is quite cool. Another thing I like here is the use of the wall pieces, the way they've actually put them at a kind of a diagonal here. Look at the way they've actually staggered the walls just to create a really interesting feel between the two buildings to give it a much better balance. And then that way the wall's not being affected by the chimney on the spar. And I think that's actually a subtle difference that makes it look really, really good. In front of the two buildings, you'll see where they've used different styles of flowers with a ladybird on one and a butterfly on the other. And it's quite beautiful. And then you've got this mix of rose bushes and flowers again together. And it does look good. I love it. I really do. OK, coming back up to the top, you've got the cinema. And again, the design matches everything else that you're looking at here. And it's a nice mix. So thumbs up for what you've done so far here. Right, but now let's show you the rest of this town. So we need to slide on down to the right hand side and have a little shifty. So let's give it a go. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? You've got this beautiful little bridge over the water here. You've got these nice little purple flowers and frogs. You've got a little pool there, a nice little picnic area, somewhere the kids can play and chill out. I, I, I love it a lot. With the grocery there, you've got those barrels. With the B&B, &B, you've got some nice little uh, tortoises there that the children can sit on and ride around. It feels very family orientated and again, a very nice balance. So overall, I'm very impressed with this. OK, let's go and check the beach out. So we need to cross over the train tracks and then have a look. And look what we got here. So either end of the beach, you've got two buildings. You've got the beach hut on the one side and you've got the diner on the other. So if you're a little hungry, you don't have so far to go to get something to eat. A nice mix of the path pieces to create a really interesting mottled effect there. And that actually does look good. The beach is not overly crowded. You've got a sandcastle by the diner. You've got those deck chairs just in the center there. And look at the way they've actually used the wall pieces there just to create a single pillar as you walk into this area. And then it's bordered with this hedge. It's quite nice. I really do like this design a lot and I'm very, very pleased with what I'm looking at. And I hope you like it too. Okay, that's it for this video. I've enjoyed making it, looking at all of these beautiful farms. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and let your friends know about the game of Heyday. And I'll see you all in the game later, so have a happy Heyday now and goodbye all.